Victory or death. Victory or death, Starfighters. My name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full episode review. And this episode is going to be very special to me because I'm going to be paying a lot of tribute to the late great actor uh, Jason David Frank, who was a hero of mine. Uh, excuse me, still is a hero of mine. Um, I honestly don't even know where to begin to, to, to talk about how I started watching Power Rangers why I fell in love with his character, what his character actually meant to me growing up as a kid, and how it's still very relevant, the Green Ranger, White Ranger, even throughout my life, and the things that I uh, continue to endure. Um, I, it's, uh, I almost just at a loss for words. Um, the other day when I found out about his passing, I just, honestly, it was such a down day. I felt like I couldn't get any work done. Um, I just felt really bad. And then there's a lot of rumors. I don't. I don't even want to say it's confirmed, but there's a lot of rumors to say that Jason took his own life, which I absolutely hate that they put that news out there. That to say that he died of suicide and things like that. Whenever someone says that, I feel like it's incredibly rude. Even though if it is a fact, I would just say that he passed away. He passed away, and he lived the life that he lived. And um, yeah, I. Listen, that whole day I was really feeling down. I was really feeling bad about his entire death and, and what he really meant to me. But as of today, as of right now, I am ready to celebrate the life that he lived. I'm ready to watch some Power Rangers and love every single second of it. And to love him being such an iconic character, human being, and just the overall embodiment of what it means to be a freaking Power Ranger. Um yeah love it we're gonna get into all of the shits we're gonna talk about him as a power ranger why he was so special we're gonna talk about my favorite power ranger series we're gonna talk about every single uh power ranger episode or whatever we're just gonna talk some power rangers and we're gonna kind of celebrate the life that jason david frank lived as a as an actor father uh power ranger and just an overall uh, a good human being and um yeah yeah let's so with that said i'm gonna be watching the episode forever red if you want to watch this episode along with me you can watch it on the power ranger youtube channel because power rangers put all their stuff on youtube and it's absolutely amazing <clears throat> so i'm gonna start this episode in five four three two one totally forgot this is a power rangers wild force episode oh this theme song is freaking amazing hell yeah hell yeah oh yeah wild force had a really good theme um i wasn't so big on the season which is absolutely wait no 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 no, no. I'm, I'm getting my my seasons mixed up no wait is it no i can't remember i think an actress from the tribe who I just literally made a video for for my Instagram today is on this show. Maybe it's not this one. Is it? No, 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 it's not. It's not. Um, yeah, yeah, she's not in this. She's in she must be in Mystic Force. That's another season I just never really cared for. I don't know why. I just I just completely uh grabbed that season. <clears throat> but anyway, um forever red holy crap what a freaking classic amazing episode all your favorite rangers or at least favorite red rangers are in this it's absolutely incredible um so amazing okay so let's get into uh tommy as a power ranger so I remember as a kid and when Power Rangers was so huge, it was such a big thing. I remember like owning the VHS tapes or like such a big thing to do. By the way, here's one of my favorite Rangers of all time, Andros. Oh, so freaking cool. But um, I remember when owning the VHS was such an awesome thing to, to have, to do. And I remember when I first watched that Power Rangers episode of when Tommy was introduced he first off first thing i thought about was oh he has such cool hair <laughs> i 
I thought he has such cool hair. He's so good at karate. And when I saw him morph into that Green Ranger, when I see him fight those those putties for the first time, I thought like, holy crap, what a freaking cool episode. Because he was so mysterious, right? We didn't know a lot about his character. We just know that he's like the new kid in town. He seemed maybe like a little troubled. Um, Yeah, freaking amazing. <sighs> I miss these characters. Boke and Skull. Boke and Skull. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. Oh, so fucking sad. Oh. He's so freaking cool, man. Oh, this is the guy from Lightspeed. Another really good season. I really enjoyed Lightspeed. I had that on VHS. And I owned it, the Nintendo 64 games. <laughs> In case you don't believe me, I have my morpher. Again? <laughs> That's the one thing they don't explain in Power Rangers. Like, why is this shit, like, always in peril? Do the military, does the military, the, the cross guard, do they not do anything? I said cross guard. Fuck yeah, is that time for us? Dude, time for us is my freaking... It's like up there is one of my favorites. Actually, fuck it. Time Force is my favorite. <laughs> Amazing theme song. Um, one of my favorite rangers is the Pink Ranger. Freaking amazing. <laughs> TJ. <laughs> Looks amazing. Oh, another one of my favorite rangers of all time. He's totally top five. Uh, my favorite ranger of all time is um, Zane from Power Rangers in Space, the Silver Ranger. He came he came to uh, an area where I was or I'm living and um, for like a convention. I should have went. I should have went to, to see him. There he is, Tommy. Fuck, man, amazing. The Red Zeo Power Ranger. Damn. What is the formula of Power Rangers? Like, why is this shit so cool? <laughs> why is it so amazing? Tommy, we don't need a story for all this shit. They die, they come back. This is this is the same shit every season. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do more of this. Like, forever pink, forever blue, forever green. Like, why wouldn't you do that? I guess a few years ago, they did have an episode where they just put every freaking ranger in one episode, which was amazing. Even though we didn't really see all of them without their helmets. amazing man so what makes tommy so special as a um as a character um again a lot of it has to do with the mystery and his story arc is like freaking set up to be freaking amazing him as the green ranger i absolutely loved it i think that's the reason why my favorite color is green he was just so badass. He had like a really cool freaking Megazord, a freaking dragon. Like, come on. He was like the best at karate than every other ranger. He just, he had everything going for him. And then he had the best looking, or oh, subjective, subjective, what I'm about to say. He also had the best looking girlfriend ever, which was Kimberly, the pink ranger. Freaking amazing. Um, and then, of course, he's, he, you know, he's, he stood for good, you know? He, he always fought against evil. Hey. Jason. Wow. 
I freaking love when they do these crossover episodes. It's just honestly, it just melts my heart. I'm waiting for someone to kind of do, well, not like I'm going to watch it, but I'm surprised someone, well, it's going to be made now, especially what, what happened with that, with the actor Jason, but, um, there's been a lot of dark history in terms of these actors who played Power Rangers. Um, I know the Red Ranger as well from um, Ninja Storm. You have this Red Ranger from Wild Force. And then obviously uh, Jason David Frank who plays Tommy. Um, there's a lot of, you know, some a lot of dark things that happens to these actors. Um... And, you know, they're human beings, right? Nobody's perfect, and, you know, shit happens. But um, I guess it's just more shocking because they're a part of a, a children's uh, series. Whereas if they're, like, in Game of Thrones, it probably just wouldn't be also so shocking. Oh, shit. Yeah, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy was one of my favorites, too. Definitely owned that on VHS. Leo, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, so freaking cool. Wait, who? Yeah, I guess they got all the Red Rangers. That's dope that everyone was able to do this shit. King Mondo. Does he eat at Mondo Burger? Hey, oh. <laughs> what? What? He has a, his own Megazord? I don't remember that. Let's be real. I'm like a big fan of, of Power Rangers. Like, f fucking love Power Rangers. But I stopped watching this series, like, right when Mystic Force started. That's when I was just like, okay, I'm done. And then I, I tried to pick it back up. I watched, like, Beast Morphers or, like, um, Power Rangers Beast. I don't know. It's like, it's like not the newest, newest one, but, like, the one before that. I watched a little bit of that first season. I thought that was cool. Um, but other than that, yeah, I kind of just stopped. I didn't watch Samurai, and people love Samurai. I know people swear by it. Never watched it. Um, love Operation Overdrive. Love Turbo. Turbo was awesome. And obviously, the original Mighty Morphin was just freaking classic. Look at this awesome freaking fight scene. This is like what it is all the time. I wonder if that's actually him doing that. Look at this guy. Some awesome fight choreography. Yeet. <laughs> That's so cool. What they should have had is like them fighting like a bunch of different villains. You know what I mean? Like putties, these things, the other things, uh, bad guys from like uh, Power Rangers in Space. That would have been awesome. What I don't understand about these fight scenes when they do them every episode like, why are we fighting these people without our morphers? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm morphing in every time I'm... I'm I'm, I'm morphed 24-7. I'm never in my street clothes. When I'm taking out the trash, it's morphing time. When I'm cooking dinner, it's morphing time. <laughs> every, every little chore that I do, I'm morphing. I 
I used to have those freaking toys. That one in the middle? I used to have that toy. Yeah, I used to. Oh, yeah. I used to have all the toys. Used to. I think I donated them to charity. Because I'm like, oh, I don't play with toys anymore. And, like, I, I don't really collect toys like that. But I had a lot. And I'm like, why not just give it to, you know. How are you breathing in space, bro? <laughs> His acting. <laughs> That's one thing that never changes in, in Power Rangers. Most of the acting is bad. Except for, except for Jason, um, Jason David Franks. He's uh, actually not bad, surprisingly. Oh, hell yeah, it's Morphin time. Fuck yeah. Rezio. Shift and the Turbo. They gotta have the theme song for every single one. Like, why not? It would've been dope. That is the best freaking morpher ever. The Power Rangers in space. And he's like typing it. Fucking amazing. I used to have that. I used to have that toy. Light speed. Yeah, this was a dope one too. That was dope. Time Force is amazing. Quantum Power. That would confuse me. I don't know why there was two Red Rangers, but he was cool too. Again, Wild Force was kind of like whatever for me. I wasn't really too into that. I did have the toys though. And I don't forgot what the hell that thing is. He's like a ninja. This shit is so freaking cool, man. Uh, we don't take orders from you. So what we, What should we do, Tommy? <laughs> I would have been like that. I'm surprised. Like, why is it only Red Rangers, though? Like, why don't you just contact every other Ranger? It's like, whatever. But still, keep that same energy. I want to see Forever Pink, Forever Blue. And I want every single Blue Ranger. Like, no one gets left out. I don't want no, like, only popular ones. Like, no, everyone gets to join in. I never really read the comic books. I heard they're pretty cool, but, um... I gotta figure out, like, the actual, um, like, strength of the Power Rangers. Because I remember that YouTube channel that talks a lot about Power Rangers. Um, when I was looking up, like, stuff about my favorite Power Ranger, which is Zane, they're like, oh, the Silver Power Ranger is, like, one of the strongest beings in the universe. So I'm like, what? <laughs> they're that strong? <laughs> Easy pickings. Yeah, they definitely got better with these crossovers throughout the years because they should definitely be playing themes. You know, they did that for one of them. I think it was like Overdrive. When Overdrive had a crossover, I believe. And it was like the Green Ranger from SPD. And I forgot who else was in it. Oh, Adam, who was like the Black Ranger. Good shit, TJ. This is not a long episode. This should have been like an hour long. They should have had like a legit plot to it or whatever, but I get it. It's like for kids. They're not trying to... See. They're not going to understand a plot. What is going on? It's like fucking the Matrix out here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna miss uh, 
Power Rangers is so amazing. I think Jason David Frank, what he meant to me as a kid. Um, listen, I used to I used to have his VHS tape about like karate, like how to how to do karate. His like his beginner class and stuff like that. And then the little life lessons that he was teaching in that, and he was like, "Hey, you know, like karate. If you see a bully, you know, you see someone who's doing bad things, you know." you have to number one thing is to like be yourself and that's one thing that i've always kept with me like that's one thing that's uh it, it just it just always stuck with me that would that he said um that is the freaking dragon from dragon ball z bro <laughs> Okay, so I love Power Rangers, but this is one the one thing that I never really enjoyed is the Megazords. I never cared for the Megazord battles because it was just like I don't know, they just look stupid. It was just like they look like they had no mobility. <laughs> They're just like it's like watching someone with big arms and no neck and like they just move a little bit and they're just punching each other. Usually that's what it is. This is weird. The CGI. So I don't understand what is what is the motivation for these villains to do this? I don't get it. A little weird. Whoa, he went inside that thing's mouth. Looking back on this episode, they could have done so much better with this. But it's still awesome. <laughs> you did well, rookie. Such a simple episode. No, oh, no, oh, it's so fucking cool. Yeah, this should have been an hour long thing, man. You you can't. This is kind of this is like looking back at this, this doesn't do it justice. This should have been a lot better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true that's true <laughs> i love this see why can't we get more of this like the banter like just more conversations with them like they they didn't even talk like that oh i missed that i'm gonna go back on it all right well that's the episode that is amazing ah oh, so amazing so beautiful um Nah. <laughs> All right, I was listening to that last little bit. All right, that's the episode. Amazing. I wish I could read the comments because uh, it's on YouTube, like kids. So obviously, there's not gonna be comments. But amazing. That was forever read. Thank you for watching it with me. Um, rest in peace, Jason David Frank. Um, whatever demons he was going through, you know, whatever happened. I just want to throw it out there in the world and on my channel that he will always and forever be loved. He will always and forever be uh, an icon or a, a role model and an inspiration. Um, yeah, there's honestly, there's not too much more to say, but a saying that I always uh, have in my mind, and I think this perfectly sums up for uh for for jason david frank is that a human being only dies twice in this world once when they physically you know die you know when your heart stops beating and then twice when your name is spoken for the last time and i can honestly say that tommy the red ranger green ranger white ranger black ranger um 
his character, what he brought to this to the franchise, to what he what he brought to conventions, to to public gatherings, to all this stuff. Legends never die. His name will live on forever. I cannot wait for whatever type of special they do in his name. Um honestly. Um if I could ever speak to him in the afterlife, I would just say thank you. Thank you for everything that that you've done. Um, because, yeah, you know, he, he made a lot of people's childhoods and stuff like that. But honestly, it goes a lot deeper for me. And it's not even like, sure, childhood, but like, honestly, childhood, teenhood, adulthood, like, his character is such an inspiration to me. And, um, yeah forever red forever forever a ranger that's what it is once a ranger always a ranger so yeah i need to do more power ranger episode reviews and um we'll definitely go more deeper into the tommy character and uh uh and maybe power rangers in space and time force because those are my favorites but um yeah Rest in peace, uh, Jason David Frank, and I will see you guys on the next one. But until then, victory or death, Starfighters. Victory or death!